What is up guys? Prodigy here. Thank you very much for watching my video. And in this one, I got you guys my new and improved season 18 void subclass for Destiny 2. A lot of you guys have been asking for the update. A lot of you guys have been asking for my perks. A lot of you guys have been asking for the mods. And this is what I got for you guys. For this build, you're gonna be able to unlimitedly heal. You're gonna be able to throw your grenades constantly. You're gonna be able to throw your melee constantly. You're gonna be able to use your class ability constantly. And you will not have to reload any of your weapons. And on top of that, there's gonna be a main weapon that you're gonna have that's consistently gonna be getting a 50% damage increase to just anything you wanna shoot it at. Also wanna go ahead and mention that this season, I will be uploading all of my builds all of the builds for the titan all of my builds for the hunter all of my builds for the warlock stasis fire solar void arc all of it will be uploaded to the channel so if you guys are new to the channel you guys haven't subscribed please be sure to subscribe that way you guys can catch those when they first get released but as of right now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the void and show you guys probably the best void titan build on the planet and if you guys got any tips any tricks any any advice that you guys want to throw in please be sure to leave them in the comments but again like i said builds coming soon make sure you guys subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing i want to go ahead and explain is the 50 percent weapon damage how do we get this crazy buff on our weapons which is almost nothing in the game gives us a, for a 50 percent weapon buff so the first thing you want to know is this gun right here is probably one of the best weapons in the game right now for void abilities or just uh, one of the best smgs that are void in the game right now mainly because of this perk golden tricorn and what golden tricorn does is if you defeat a target you're going to get a bonus weapon damage i believe it's seven percent or 14 percent not sure it's pretty decent just for getting a target kill or a target defeated but once this buff is activated if you decide to use your grenade or your melee that matches the same type of this weapon, which is void, it's going to give you a crazy 50% damage buff. On top of that, this weapon has the militianist, which is gonna recharge my grenades, and whenever I throw a grenade, it's gonna reload my weapon. So this is very handy for this weapon, not just for the fact that it's gonna give you grenade energy, but when you throw your grenade, it's gonna allow you to reload and give you that 50% damage continuously. I also have armor piercing rounds because normally you use this on a pile of ads. So the bullets are going to go through multiple enemies. So not only are you going to do 50% damage, but you're going to do that 50% damage on multiple enemies. So it's going to go through targets and you're going to get double damage in a way. Uh, and then this is just a random prick. This is what I decided to do. And I put on minor specs. So this is just to explain how do we constantly get our 50% weapon damage on the weapon or on this build. So when it comes to ability to constantly keep them up, what i normally like to do is start off with my shield when you use your shield it empowers your other abilities make them stronger and make them charge faster so now whenever i throw a grenade it's going to do more damage and it should be recharging faster if it was times two it is times two for a couple seconds and then my grenade is recharging faster you could also pick up these wells is set up in the build so you can recharge a little faster but again, to get your abilities back, use your class ability. You can kill stuff. It's going to make a well. You pick that up. It's going to recharge your ability. You can show the charge things. It's going to make you a well. You don't see it because I picked it up. And if you notice my abilities, they're constantly regening. If I keep doing this, I can literally use my abilities for the whole entire strike. I just explained to you guys how to use the weapon. Now I'm explaining to you guys how to consistently regen your abilities. If you notice, every time I pick up one of these, I'm going to get charged with light. And if I'm charged with light and I use my melee, notice my melee. Look at my melee. Did you notice my melee? It's like if I had a uh, skull for it, it instantly comes back. Well, at least half of it. But I can instantly bring it back by throwing a grenade and now picking up that well. And now that's going to charge me with light. And if I shoulder charge something, look at my melee. It comes back almost all the way full. I use my shield, right? I kill something, it's gonna make a well. And then now that's, I mean, I'm already charged with light, so I don't have to consistently do that because every time I do a melee, it recharge, like I get charged with light. And if I need more energy, I could use my grenades. Again, pick up the well, shoulder charge things. Look at my melee right now, what's gonna happen to it? 
it's gonna come back almost instantly look at my grenade look at my you see what i'm saying like it's a consistent region of abilities and i know i might be now you're saying oh this is low level content this doesn't matter this is the exact same build i was using for contest modifier on day one raid i was in there beating up all the ads i'll try to get you guys a clip on screen right now just in there beating up all the ads consistently regenerating abilities consistently doing crazy damage and just major major output of abilities and just heals all right so to give you guys a quick explanation and everything in action it might happen a little fast for some of you guys but i'm gonna try to do it so the first thing i'm gonna do is get a kill right empty out my magazine if you notice empty out my magazine i got golden tricorn activated i get a shoulder charge kill now i have 50 percent damage on my gun it's killing everything really really fast now i have to reload again i throw my grenade i don't have to reload it's still continuously having golden tricorn times too look at golden tricorn is still active if i throw another grenade around i might be able to save it all right golden tricorn time two is still active if you notice it's still active 50 percent active all the way right now all the way right now so now i'm going to show the charge to reload my weapon and keep golden tricorn well i just lost golden tricorn times two but you can kind of see ah! uh, but again like i was saying the goal of this build is to consistently keep golden tricorn up either the one or the two and number one you do by you know getting simple kills number two you do by killing an ability kill and if you notice right now i'm doing 50 percent damage whenever i need to reload i just kick something you know now i could reload look at my ability just look at my ability. look at the constant regen look at the constant heal look at the constant comeback uh constant bonus damage i don't have to reload my weapons ever just back to back consistent damage back to back consistent heal backs to back like i i don't know how to, to, to how else to explain it this build is insane this build is better than skull fort this build i don't have to reload why am i trying i just reload it but i don't have to reload you just show the charge to reload you get 50 percent bonus damage if you already had gotten a kill and if you need to reload again you throw your grenade and again i'm just using my primary right now but if you had a void heavy like i do you can do the exact same thing you can shoulder charge something with void get your void abilities back and the second you kill something with your grenade you get now volatile rounds now look at my heavy my heavy has this crazy explosion that i was talking about everything is dying everything is everything and look at my abilities constantly healing constantly regening you want to always kill something first with your gun before using your ability so you can get the crazy for 50 percent and you just rinse and repeat i believe this is a really good explanation to show you guys how it kind of works I'll be going with the, the exactly the exact mods, the exact build that you want right now. So make sure you guys stick around for that. So let's go ahead and get into what it takes to make this build. Starting off with the weapon. You don't need this weapon, but if you want to have consistently 50% bonus damage, then yes, you want golden tricorn with void abilities. There's another solar weapon. I believe the one from theirs has also golden tricorn. And recently, one of the pulse rifles from Gambit also has golden tricorn. So you can try to make your own build similar to this with those weapons. Um, I recommend Demolitionist. That way you don't have to reload or uh, uh, a perk that gives you ability region like Wellspring, Demolitionist. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what else, but again, that's for the weapon. Uh, regarding the stats, I know you're not going to believe me this time, but you don't want recovery. It's very hard for me to be at zero recovery because if you notice, all my armor has recovery every single time i've got an armor i normally go for recovery first because of pvp but for the first time in my life i truly recommend zero zero recovery 100 resilience number one uh 100 discipline number two and 100 strength number three you want to have these main three and i guess the last one intellect or whatever you want i don't like mobility at all for the titan um, and the reason why is because, like I explained, you're going to heal from your grenades. You're going to heal from your melee. You're going to heal from the explosions. You're going to just you're going to have a constant heal to the point where you're better off just building your abilities and healing off of them. Another thing that's really going to help with that is Heart of Immost Light. Like I mentioned earlier, Heart of Immost Light, when you use one ability, it empowers the other two. So you have three main abilities. I know you have a super as well, but three main abilities are your grenade, your melee, and your class ability. So when you use your class ability, it empowers your melee and your grenade. When you use your grenade, it empowers your melee and your class ability. When you use your melee, it empowers your grenade and your class ability. So, and by empowerment, it means they make them stronger, 
and recharge faster. So again, very important for this build to consistently have your abilities recharged. This is a must to help you out. I mean, I, it, it's very helpful. Must, I mean, yes, it is a must to, to get this build consistently working. It's gonna make your grenades strong. It's gonna make your melee strong. It's gonna recharge your abilities. Definitely a must for this build. The next thing you wanna be looking at for this build is the mods. The way I continuously keep my melee coming back, even without skull for, I know you guys noticed it. My melee was almost coming back instantly. And if I really forced it by picking up the wells immediately, cause it was kind of hard to do it while explaining the video. But if I really forced it to pick up the wells immediately after getting a shoulder charge, I have my melee immediately back. Like it's like skull for automatically without really having skull for and also having um, heart of the most light at the same time. And the way this mod works is that you need to get charged with light and use your charge melee ability and it gives it back to you halfway. So the way I'm doing that is with my next mod. If you go down to my arms, you're gonna notice that I have something called become charged with light. I mean, it's called elemental charge, but it's become charged with light by picking up a well, uh, I believe just any well. Let me see, uh, elemental well uh, type that matches. Okay, it has to match your subclass. So it has to be a void well, I am in void. So, you know, that's why I'm getting charged with light to be able to make this perk work. So again, if you're wondering how I'm getting my melee back so quickly is because of this perk and for this perk to work, you need to be charged with light. And how do you get charged with light is by picking up a void well uh, for this because I'm a void, you know, I have to pick up a void well. Moving down to the chest piece, the next mod that I have is Reaping Wellmaker. This helps me to make more well mods. And since I have my class ability so constant, all I have to do is use my class ability defeat a target and boom another well mod and my class ability is constantly up and it helps me charge up my abilities so i am going to be using it anyways so very good to just generate another random mod to drop moving down to the boots i have melee well maker this is going to allow me to every time i get a shoulder charge kill it's going to make a void well so that's going to help me charge with so you know you, you're noticing the chain re the chain reaction right there if i get a shoulder charge kill i make a well if i make a well I get charged with light if i do the shoulder charge kill now that i'm charged with light i get half of it back and i make a well i pick up that well i'm back full sh shoulder charge so you almost have an unlimited shoulder charge uh the next thing i have here that's kind of important to help me recharge my grenades you can switch this depending on you want if you want to get your melee back faster or if you want your grenade to come back faster but every time i pick up an orb i get my grenades back so that helps me even faster with my rechargeability of my grenades Going down finally to the class ability, I have elemental ordinance and that makes it so I make a well every time I throw a grenade. So since I have my melee constantly, since I have my grenade constantly, I keep throwing these and they're making me wells. Why? So I can get charged with light and constantly use my abilities over and over again. Another thing that's important, like I mentioned in the last one, you could, I mean, I didn't mention this in the last one, but this one, you can switch to melee or grenades depending on, oh yeah, you can do that with the last one as well. You can switch them to melee or grenades if you want to either get your melee back faster or you want your grenades back faster. So if you want your, your grenades to come back faster, you put it on fire and every time you use your class ability is going to reduce your grenade cooldown. Same thing with this one, with the boots, you can switch them to arc. And if you want your melee to come back faster, every time to pick up, you pick up orbs, you can also have that as an option, depending on what you want to do with your build. And I believe that's kind of it for the actual uh, mods. So going on to the actual build itself, I have the rally barricade, the little one, because I like how it gives me a little bit of range and more reload. I use strafe lift. I've used strafe lift since destiny one. I've tried other jumps, of course, uh, they're situational, but for the most part, I am on strafe lift 99.9% of the time. And I recently switched to, sh switched to shoulder charge because it suppresses targets. And that's the only way you're going to be able to reload your weapons. And I explained that with the next mod coming down. Normally, I would like to use this little melee, the one that you throw in. It's at range and it's pretty cool, but it's not suppressing targets. So it's not going to allow me to reload my weapon. So again, that's why we switched to shoulder charge. I really, really still love scatter grenades, even though Vortex have a little little thing where you can get double well mods, but just the damage that I get out of scatter grenades is so good that I just can't seem to let them down. Going on to control demolitionist, this is gonna allow you to have the volatile um, abilities or volatile explosions heal you. So not only just you, but also your teammates. So it comes in handy for those area where you're surrounded by teammates. 
Um, the second you throw your grenade and you get a kill, that demolitionist, that explosion, all that, all that, all that purple that you see exploding, all that thing is going to heal you. Moving on to the next one, we have Bulwark. And for Bulwark is that while you have your overshield at any given time, your abilities are going to recharge faster. Or while you're inside your overshield or like inside the bubble itself, you're going to also recharge your abilities quicker. So pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, for the fragments, here we go. We got void ability, final blows, cause target to explode. That's the whole explosion that you're seeing. We want things to explode because that heals us. Then we have void grenades, weaken targets. Not the most useful one, but really don't have nothing that I really want to replace it with. But like I said, this makes my sat my scatter grenades so good that I just can't seem to take off this mod as well, even though it's giving me minus 20 discipline, but easily replaceable with anything else that you're interested in. If you want to even get a faster recharge of abilities and not have your grenades be minus 20 percent, if that makes sense. Um next perk we have is defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds so this is the thing that's making your void weapons uh make thing explode after you get a grenade kill so definitely want this in your build and finally after suppressing targets you gain greatly increased mobility for a short duration your equipped weapons is reloaded from reserve so not only your first weapon but all your weapons get reloaded so you can empty out all your weapons and then get a suppressed shoulder charge melee and then guess what it's going to reload all your weapons so that's the build that's the setup thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy catch you guys in the next one peace